this is Augustus Libertus, and today I will be discussing different mining tactics to get the most out of the ground in the least time-consuming way. So, first off, we have the hill leveling trick which is basically you take a mountain and you level it. Now there are some good things and bad things about this um, way of mining. The good thing is it's really simple and you can also use it for building, but the bad thing is since it's so high up you don't get very many valuable ores from it. So it's not super efficient. Get up there and show you. You see, just completely flat. So there's some upsides and downsides, and then there's another way, and that is to get a whole bunch of TNT. like that and just take redstone dust off a little ways do that. Or another way you can do it is ah. Okay. Go dig down and then just build up all the way to the top with TNT because what this does is TNT explodes outwards so what this will do is it'll make a really deep trench so oh I don't have any way to light this hang on There we go. Okay. So you just light it. Make sure to run very far away. And as you can see, it exposes a lot of stone. You can also do this deeper underground. But this isn't very efficient also because TNT destroys objects. So if it could destroy precious diamonds and you wouldn't even know it. Let me get back up here. Okay, so the next we're going to talk about is called the chunk mining. So what you do is you find, you hit F3 or for Mac users function F3 and you s look at the chunk numbers and you want to find zero everything. So the first, the second design we're going to talk about is the chunk mining. So what you do is you go to the exact zero of the chunk and then you dig 16 blocks in each direction and then you make passageways like this. So see how it has the interlacing passageways? So it's really impossible to miss anything. As you can see there's some emeralds here. And then there's
here's the design we use. So da my dad found out that if you go five blocks out from each pillar, you can make these pillars, and it looks like something f out of Lord of the Rings. And also, ladders aren't very fast, but stairs are. You can sprint upstairs very quickly. And then, of course, there's the way, how do you get down? Well, getting down, what you can do is you can use either a hole with water at the bottom like this and you take no fall damage or you can place a slime block which makes you just bounce that's all for today guys the i hope this help this video helped you figure out which ways you like best. You can experiment and mess around with them and combine it different ideas and do whatever you want. See you later.